Um, it's actually a little warmer today, so I'm gonna fell some trees so I can start drying them out for my arbor. Um, also clearing some land for where I'm gonna plant some trees um, once it once everything falls out. I'm gonna grab my chainsaw and my batteries. The first thing I need to do is get my fence down so I can fell the trees. That snow does not want me to move the fence. But I got a little opening. Well, my saw died, so that's a good place to stop. I got about nine logs to start cleaning, or to start drying out and start getting the bark off them to make my arbor out of. Also, I cleared some land for where I'm gonna plant some, some apples and plum trees. I'm by no means an expert with a chainsaw, so please, please, don't, I don't know, don't take any tips from that. But I'm gonna charge these batteries and load up these logs and Okay, I, I charged my battery. Um, I wanted to finish cutting these logs into about eight foot sections.
So I have most of this area cleared now. So now I'm just gonna put the fence back up and then carry some of these logs into the basement. So the larger logs, like these, I'm going to cut up for firewood. I don't burn them myself, just with my sensitivities, I need electric. But um, I'll either give them to my friend who lets me, who uses his tractor over here, does some stuff with his tractor over here for me, or I'll cut them up and then try to sell them. I got it up for the most part. The snow is not allowing it to lay flat, so there's a little gap. Uh, but it'll work. Um, I don't really have anything in here right now, anyway, that I'm worried about deer's eating. I actually, when I woke up this morning, there was a there was a deer's. I didn't have the fence up. There was a little deer's, and she was on the edge. And it's the one that lives up here. I have a little one that lives up here. She's really tiny. I think she was a runt. But she's uh, she's probably one and a half now. But she lives up here and I always see her. She always sleeps down by the outhouse. Um, but she walks along the, the, the fence now. She's actually trained. So the fence was down. The fence was down, but I still saw her walk along the edge of it. She didn't want to come in. So I don't think a little foot gap will, will matter. And then once the snow thaws, I'll be able to lie it flush again on the ground. Thanks for watching. I always appreciate the likes. If you want to follow along as I attempt the food forest, you know, subscribe. Should have more coming out on that in the next next few months. But thanks. Take it easy.